Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a bit of a wig review slash makeup tutorial using the McKenzie wig from Free Dress Equal. It's in the color lavender, you guys. It is so gorgeous. It's an ombre wig, so it has darker roots. It goes into like a silver purple and then a beautiful lavender color at the bottom. The lace part is actually that weird rubbery texture like I showed you guys in my last video but it has the standard three combs and bra strap construction and a little bit of lace around the perimeter as well. So on my head I do really like the curls of this wig but I just kind of don't like it on my face shape so I do want to do a lot of doctoring up to this wig. The first thing we're going to do is just cut the lace from around the perimeter of the wig. And then I plucked the part in the front a little bit just to open that up. Here you guys see me parting my hair to get ready to make baby hairs and I even started plucking it to thin it out a bit. That's a trick you guys can use when making your baby hair. If it's too thick, just take some tweezers and start plucking out the more solid blocky color sections if you get what I'm saying. It will help when you're actually waving the baby hairs to not look so thick. I actually thought if I was going to lay the wig down first, it would be a lot easier to make the baby hair. So I'm taking got to be glued gel and free spray and I'm putting that on the perimeter of my hairline and I'm laying my wig down. Once the wig is nice and secure, then I'm going to go back to making the baby hairs. Here you see me with my razor comb and I'm just shortening the hairs all around the hairline. Now I'm taking my argan oil mousse, I'm putting that at the root of the hairline and this is just going to help mold the hairs before we solidify them in place with got to be glued gel. Now guys this step is going to take a while so please be patient. Go ahead and mold your baby hair slash edges in the way you want. Think like finger waves that's the motion you want to do and you know how long it takes you to do finger waves and get everything in the same direction well that's how long this is probably going to take just take your time be patient it'll all be worth it in the end i promise Here's the wig, not style, but the edges are on there and I'm looking to see if I wanna cut it. It looks like it'll be really cute as a bob, so maybe I'll do that later on. But I decided to go with just straightening it for now. I do believe that colorful wigs look a lot better straightened. I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't need to be colorful and long and curly. It's just doing a bit much. So I went ahead, since I wanted to keep the length right now, and I just went ahead and straightened it instead. So here is the difference. This is the straightened side and then the non-straightened side. I kind of regretted straightening it right after this part because the curls are really pretty. But I'm just putting some mousse on the top and I'm going to lay that down while I do my makeup. Starting with the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer, I'm going to put that all over my face to prime my face. And then I'm going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. These primers are so affordable, you guys, and they work so well. Like, I honestly probably won't buy any more expensive primers. Next, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Truffle, and I'm applying that all over my face. You guys will see that I'm putting a lot more foundation than I usually use on, and that's just because I want this to be full coverage and I'm not using any color correctors.
Next, I'm using my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. Well, actually, not a foundation. <laughs> it's a concealer. And I'm using that on all the places I highlight for a little more coverage as well. Remember, guys, the full coverage, cake face. We're doing this in the middle of summer. Yes, we're caking it up. And I'm using my Black Opal Stick Foundation to add warmth to my face. But then I'm also going to go in with my Cinema Secrets palette and use that dark shade to add shadow. So I'm adding warmth and then I'm going back in with a cooler color and adding shadow. Blending all of that out, I did add a little bit more of the Kat Von D concealer and I'm just blending that into one flawless base. Now I did want a little more brightness under the eyes and on my highlight points, so I went back into that Cinema Secrets palette and used the lightest shade. And now I'm going to set all of that with my black opal setting powder. This is in translucent, but as usual, you guys know it has like a reddish tinge to it. So I love using that to set my highlight points. And I'm going to bronze up with my usual goddess bronzer from Ulta. Now I'm using the NYX Skinny Marker and I'm just going to create a wing. I bought this because I got tired of using Pat McGrath, I know you guys see that all the time. And my Kat Von D liner in Trooper actually dried up. So this is a great dupe you guys. If you're looking for an inexpensive liquid liner, this is the one to do. The felt tip is so fine, it works so well. Now I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer and a little bit of glitter that I got from Super Glitters and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. Now if you guys are wondering why I did the wing first, it's because it's easier to put glitter on top of a wing and then clean up whatever is left than it is to try to do a wing over top of a lot of bumpy glitter. So that's just a pro tip if you guys didn't know. I ended up nixing the wing, <laughs> pun intended. But I ended up getting rid of the wing because I wanted the look to be a little more softer than it was coming out. I wanted my hair to be the focus. So now I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Strobe Cream and I'm using that as a base for my Carly Bible highlight from the Carly Bible palette. And this just gave me like a rose gold kind of combination for my highlight and it was really beautiful you guys. I dipped my lashes and my mascara off camera, kind of, sort of, and now I'm just putting on a little bit of Lix, Lix, wow, okay, NYX Lip Liner, and it's just in a brown shade, I'm not even sure what color this is anymore, but it's like a medium brown shade, and I'm using my Black Radiance Brilliant Effects Lip Gloss, which is so pretty, it's like iridescent with pink glitter in it, and it just really made this makeup look, so that's about it for the makeup look. Let's go back and finish up the wig. Just put a little bit of foundation in that part and we are good to go. I hope that you guys really like the way this look came out. I hope that you learned a bit of the new things here and there. And thank you guys so much for tuning in again. If you are new, please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for supporting me. I love you so much and I will see you in my next tutorial. Mwah. Bye.